Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Today in this video, we're gonna be making the Mini super loud. So behind me, I have got my Mini Cooper, and in my last video, I showed you guys how to install the NM Engineering uh, shifter box on the underside of my Mini so I can install and use my short shifter at the lowest setting that it can go. Now, I haven't quite put everything back together yet, so what I still have to put on is the stock John Cooper Works exhaust system. So it has a resonator, and it also has a muffler attached to it. That's all it's got, and from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this exhaust and put something in a little bit louder and a little bit bigger. So the piping that comes on this is two and a quarter inch. I'm gonna be upping it to two and a half inches, and I'm also gonna be removing the resonator and removing the cat. Now I'm gonna put that on, bring the car outside, and show you what the car sounds like now, so that once I install the aftermarket exhaust that I'm gonna get made up from a friend of mine, you guys are gonna be able to hear the difference. Okay, so we just got back from the shop. Now I've got the stock exhaust that I had on the Mini over here. So we took out the entire thing and the only part that we really used from it was up at the end, or actually should I say the beginning part of the exhaust, which is a part of the flex pipe. So the beginning part of it is what we needed to attach up for our V-band clamp, this exhaust here. So this is the exhaust that we got made up. So it's pretty damn straight. Like it doesn't get much more straight than this. So from the down pipe, it's literally a straight pipe from the front all the way back, splits up into two with two tips. Now, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be keeping these tips here. I might change them up down the road, maybe for something else. But in the meantime, this is it. Now, it sounds absolutely orgasmic whenever you rev the car. So I just brought it up, put it on jack stands to show you there's no mufflers. And if you take a look you know, further down the line, there's no resonators or anything else. There's no restrictions on this exhaust. Now the difference also, the main power difference that I'm gonna notice from this is that the piping size for this is two and a half inches, whereas the stock exhaust was two and a quarter. So since it's a turbocharged car, we wanna get the exhaust system to breathe as freely and nicely as possible. So the bigger the piping and less restrictions, the better the exhaust is. So now that I have the exhaust in, I'm gonna get the car, put it back down on the ground, bring it out, and I'm gonna show you how wicked this thing sounds. It's unreal the amount of backfires that this thing makes. And to think, this is still with the catalytic converter. Am I happy about this? What do you think this smile says? I absolutely love the sound of this. Now I also have uh, coming in a catalyst two and a half inch downpipe. So it's gonna mount up perfectly to my turbo. It's gonna get rid of the OEM cat. And then from there, I'll just have the turbo with no restrictions, no nothing. Now that kind of setup that I'll have is gonna be extremely loud. Right now it's still drivable. I can still drive it on the highway and there's not that much noise on the inside of the cabin. Even though that I took out a lot of the interior pieces. So if you guys are contemplating something like this, it's a good mod. If you want to hear some noise, you want to hear some backfires, this is terrific. If you want even more than that and you want more loud and more noises, cat's got to go. So that's what I'll be doing. Once I upgrade the turbo, I will upgrade my cat, but that's not going to be down the road because right now my main concern isn't power. There's a lot of other things that I want to get done before that. Um, but once I have the car ready, I have the wide body in, I have everything for the Mini, only at that point am I gonna go ahead and start making more power for the car. So, what does that mean? Well, the wide body kit is coming in. I know I've said this many times, I contacted the guys that, are, that make the kit. They said that it should be shipped out by April 5th. So that's in a couple days from now. Um, so it should be shipped out by then. Once I get that wide body in, I'll be pulling the trigger on new wheels. I've got tires all sorted out, and for the most part, the Mini's gonna be pretty good for the wide body kit. Now, I also have some other stuff coming in, and it's a little bit of a secret, but I'm not gonna tell you guys yet, but that's what's going on for the Mini. If you guys have any questions regarding the video, throw them down in the comment section below, and I'd be more than happy to help. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.